Kovaleski Stadium was certainly in a, in a state where uh, it, w it needed a facelift bad. It was built on limited funds back in the 1980s. A lot of the infrastructure was original, so consequently the efficiency was way below where today's standards would be. From an owner's perspective, it looked okay, but it was a lot of stuff was held together by tape or you know wire clamps or stuff like that. We had a lot of stuff to do to, to even meet the basic level. 25 plus years ago, uh, the leaders in our community envisioned an opportunity for for sports to be a, a, a drawing card or a, a place of attraction. But the basic level wasn't going to be good enough to keep a team to grow a fan base and do these kind of things. There wasn't a lot of thought back in those days put into what the function off of the field would be for families and fans. The park really was in very modest shape, to, to say the least. Now we could have decided, eh, it's just not going to work, it's time to, to shut down, let somebody else you know, do this. We gave it a try 25 years ago, but, but we thought, no, no, I think there's a, a neat opportunity here. It was pretty easy to see that this project was important to the city, it was important to the residents. It was brutally obvious that this investment into the stadium, into that part of town, would have a big impact. JPR was fantastic to work with. They, they think not just like architects, but they think like business people. I think because of their prior experience in, st in stadium development and renovations, um, their knowledge of the stadium, of course, but also the kind of the can-do attitude that the firm had. They piled all their specialties into the project, and they really got how to do a redesign. They are a firm that I think believes in getting stuff done. If it was a 10-hour day or a 24-hour day or a you know all weekend type effort, everybody found a way to make you know the the pipes work through this hole and the floor work at this level. Getting it done quickly but getting it done right. We tend to look beyond just the design and we try to put ourselves in the shoes of whoever the owner of a facility may be. And those kinds of people I like working with. And think of all of the ways that uh, any feature that you're designing within the ballpark can help to generate income for the team. We kept asking ourselves, will this attract more people? Andrew's a very smart businessman. His goal is to put a good product out there on the field, to make an, uh, an area where, where people can come and enjoy themselves and, and have fun. Will we be able to get a return on investment on that improvement? So they weren't just trying to push cool, neat, interesting improvements, but they were looking at it from a commercial standpoint. If we make these improvements, will it attract more people? You don't want it to be utilitarian. The attempt is to make the ballpark as inviting as possible because the end game for the owner, whether it be the city of South Bend as the owner of the stadium or the team as, as the owner of the product on the field, is to attract as many fans to the game as possible, make sure that they enjoy themselves out there, make sure that uh, there's, there's things for them to do uh, aside from baseball. When JPR took control of the project, we had to have stuff ready to go on an opening day. We really got started with construction in February, and we had about 60 days to do all of the construction and be ready by opening day on April 9th. We knew that we didn't have much time. We had to roll up the sleeves and get to work because the time frame was so tight. But I have to say, JPR and their, and their subs pulled it off. It was unbelievable unbelievable and the work that they did everything was first class. I've heard stories of people who will go to the game early just to get one of those seats in, in the right field area. We just got this idea, well, let's stick some seats down there, somebody that you can sit right on the wall. You can use decking material like you're on the deck out behind your house. It really did become one of the more popular areas of the stadium. Uh, when you look at amenities out there like the, the splash pad or the kids' fun zone with all the giant inflatables. And throughout the stadium, there are all kinds of different little touches here and there. And if you just camped out in one area of the ballpark, um, you, you wouldn't get that the, the same satisfaction. One of the things that really allowed us to look at the ballpark that way was to finally connect right field, left field with the bridge over, over center field. Having 360 degree circulation around the ballpark opens up the park to all kinds of different ideas and all kinds of different settings for different seating areas and group spaces and everything else. And I think we're going to start to see our amenities that we built here that J JPR 
has, uh, has, has put in place. I think we're going to start to see some of those things appear in other ballparks. I think the Cove will start to be a model for other minor league parks and some of those improvements. So. Uh, the synagogue's a, it's a special place. Uh, it begged to be part of the stadium. Perfect use for it was as a team store. They oversaw the not only the renovation, but you know the, the foundation had to be fixed. We really sought to be very true to the architectural elements of 111 years ago. But it fits. It feels like it should have been there. One of the best team stores in all of sports. I mean, it, it fits and it, it keeps the history. Everything was done just right. Uh, the fit and finish of all their work was extraordinary. And when we opened the gates, it, the, the, the crowd was in awe. Because all of a sudden, it felt different than it did uh, for the last uh, 25 years. It felt like some place that people wanted to go and, and experience. I knew that it was a good project. The time we went to a game, we had to wait in line to get in. And for years, that had not been the case. You could just walk right in, and, and there, wasn't, there wasn't a crowd. There just wasn't any feel. Uh, the citizens of the area have something to be really proud of. This year was really the rebirth of, of our stadium and, and sort of a, a re-energizing of our downtown as a result. There was certainly a buzz in the community. They have a structure that is probably one of the prettiest stadiums now in all of minor league baseball. They had a lot of people coming up to me and saying, hey, you know, what you did down there at the ballpark is great. You haven't been there in years. It was a great return on investment for the city. The city owns the stadium. For us, it was good affirmation that, that you know, we did what we were hired to do. JPR pulled it off. It was unbelievable. Nimble, entrepreneurial, and moving rapidly. Everything was first class.